Good evening. The countdown continues. We are exactly one week away from marijuana legalization and employers across Canada, including here in the GTA, have been unveiling their workplace cannabis usage policies. We told you yesterday, Toronto police officers can't smoke recreational cannabis within 28 days on the job. Well, we're learning tonight that these policies aren't consistent and so there's confusion. Have you been told one way or another what your marijuana policy is at work? No, not yet. They probably, probably will launch it sometime fairly soon and get us on board about it, but right now nothing just yet. Yeah, they have. Um, in regards to on the job site, obviously that's uh, forbidden. You can't really do that, right? What about so, on your own time? On your own time, um, as long as you know, you're completely sober coming to work. Uh, no, they've not. They've not introduced any sort of uh, restrictions or permissions on that. Does that make you nervous? No. There's quite a lot of coverage about it in the news right now, but um, what it means for individual offices and places like that, yeah, it would be good to know the specifics. A new Ipsos Reid poll commissioned by HR firm ADP Canada interviewed 500 managers and 500 non-managerial staff in the country and say the results showed there's a major disconnect between employers and employees surrounding the use of marijuana. When it comes to consuming recreational cannabis, there is a disparity between employees and their bosses. 19% of managers said they were at least somewhat likely to use it before work versus 7% of non-managers. And 14% of supervisors said they were at least somewhat likely to consume pot during work hours. Less than half, only 4% of staff answered similarly. The enforcers are the ones who are going to be the greatest users, which makes no sense at all. But Policies are being developed out of thin air right now, and who knows if the court are going to uphold any of them. And how do you develop these policies? Is there a precedent, for instance? There is a precedent. There's actually a pretty important precedent, and it's called alcohol, because generally marijuana and alcohol should be treated exactly the same. Can your employer test you for cannabis anytime? Well, right now the law is you cannot do random testing of marijuana or alcohol unless there's a good reason to believe there's a problem. But with marijuana, even if there is a good reason to believe there's a problem, or even if someone tattles and said, I know they were smoking on their break, and of course having to prove it was marijuana, you take the test if they let you. They may refuse on privacy grounds to let you take the test. But if you take the test and it says they were smoking marijuana, the scientific evidence is the test doesn't work. So it's not conclusive proof anyway. ADP says the disconnect stems from the lack of understanding policies. 36% of managers said their organizations are introducing or updating their workplace policies and guidelines to reflect the legalization of marijuana, compared to 13% of non-managers. In Ontario, nearly half, 45% of respondents, are unsure if their workplace has plans to introduce or change the rules surrounding recreational cannabis. There's even confusion amongst our public officials. At a press conference today, Liberal MP John Oliver was asked if he could smoke before work. I, I don't know that I know the answer to that question. But what happens if an employee feels that their workplace policy is unreasonable? This labor lawyer says launching a constitutional challenge won't be easy. The courts are going to be scratching their head as much as we are trying to figure out how to make head or tail of all of these new problems that are going to be confronted with. I think it's going to be a horror show. Nothing is sorted out. Everybody has different expectations. And we're also learning tonight federal officials are also looking into new workplace rules uh, for em any employees who show up to work high. You can find a link to that story on our website, citynews.ca.